Hello and welcome to today's tutorial. My name is Heidi Richards Mooney. I'm the founder of her of Women in E-Commerce and the publisher of her business listings. And I'm going to be showing you how to use this cool tool I just recently started using. It's called Designer. And Designer is something you can use totally online to create an ebook in two minutes or less. It does a lot more, which I'll show you. But basically, we're going to talk about how to create a really cool, quick resource or ebook. And it is available right now for only $27 for a lifetime license. However, you need to get it fast if you're watching this today because um, the pricing has gone up and they just opened this back up for the $27 price. So basically, you can upload a, a, something from a Word document. You can use a URL. You could even use your Facebook posts. There's so many ways that you can create an ebook really simply. And I'm going to actually walk you through the steps of it. There's templates. There's uh, ways you can fix what you you, you do um, and relay it out a little bit. So you, if you're a little creative, you can do a lot of different things. And if you're not, you can just do a simple ebook with very little skill. So this is the home page of the designer $27 lifetime and here's all the things that you get you get lifetime access to the software you can import from word from a URL from your Facebook profile and page it's very cool say you have a lot of really good posts on your Facebook page or profile that you'd like to share in an ebook this is a great inexpensive uh, easy way to do it and there's a lot of templates so I'm going to take you over to designer and I'm going to log in to it basically this is designer.io this is the place you go to log in once you've purchased it and it also shows you the upgrade so if you go over here you can see all the things you get and you can see the pro versions $39 a month so it's a big difference between the $27 lifetime to the $39 a month so I'm logged in and here's an ebook that I created it's about 10 pages and it was using a, a blog post called 72 free stock photographic sites and I, I changed the title a little bit I fixed up the cover and I made this tool so I'm going to take you to create a new project and we're going to give the project a name by the way you can go in here and you can actually take a tour and it'll show you exactly how to do it as well so I'm going to um, type in taking action your steps to success and it could be called anything I'm just going to call it that for now and I'm going to import my document from a URL so I'm going to go over here and I actually cr uh, created three doc three blog posts um, about taking action. Here's the first one and I'm going to use all three of them because one may not be a very big document but three would probably create a 10-12 page ebook special report. So here's a tip when you write your blog posts especially if you write really good ones that you think you might want to turn into a resource at some point use images. Use images that you can repurpose into the blog post and use more than one. There's a couple of reasons. One of them is when it's shared on social media, then you could share it with three different images and, it, and it's a new post each time. You can share parts of it. But the, for this example, it's nice to have more than one. So we're going to go back over here and we're going to plug in that URL. We're going to import it. And while it's importing, it's going to take us over to another page and it's going to have us choose a template. So I'm going to choose a template that I think would look good with this. And let's just see. We'll use this one for now. And then I'm going to click on next. And you can see there are several um, templates. You can go by categories. You can go by page size. If you want a letter, right? We're just going to use a, play, a plain, like almost the size of a letter. Let's go to the letter size and see what it has. So you can see it's a little bit, you get different templates when you go to letter size. Okay. 
So we're, but that I'm going to create it as A4, which is uh, like a book. And the category, it'll give you some different choices. It'll show you your templates. But I have chosen um, the, the one I want. Actually, I'm going to use this one. Change my mind. We're going to go over here. And we're going to import from URL. We're going to click Next. And when it's imported, it's going to bring this up. And I want to change the background of this. So right now, here's the background. And I want to change the color. And I want to make it um, close to the color of the pen. So let me just see. That looks good. OK, so that's the color I'm going to choose because the lettering is in white. So now you can actually go in here and you can play around with your your um, your words as well. So I wanted to make you capitalize. And you can change the size of this if you wanted to make it larger or smaller. Um, actually 72. And you can uh, action takers. And I'm going to put that on a separate line too. Okay. So now that is done. If I wanted to change the color of the font of the of the lettering, I would go here and I'd click on the the letter, the A, and I could choose a different color, but I'm going to keep it the white. Now down here I don't have a subtitle, so I'm going to get rid of that. You just click on it and you click on the garbage can. I'm going to put my name in here and then I'm going to resize it. You can also change the type style if you want. I'm going to change the color of the font. Let me just see what color I want. Maybe a, maybe this color would be good. No, I like um, We're going to go with red. And then I'm going to resize it. So right now we have this as um, hmm. got to resize this on to make it larger. So we're going to go into text style. We don't want a border, but we do want, we can change the text color. We can change the size of the, um, we can make it bold. We can change the size over here. So I'm going to make it 28. Okay, so you see what I did. I clicked on behind here. Click head edit, you click over here, and you can click on the size, whatever size you want to make the the name. And I'm even gonna move it around a little bit because I like I, I don't like things centered. So if I can. Yeah, that's if I want to edit a picture. So I'm not going to be able to move it. <clears throat> oh, yeah, I can. Maybe not. All right, well, we'll we'll leave it right in the center for now, and I'll play around with this, and I would recommend you do the same. So now we're on page two. It's It shows the subtitle of the article here, or the uh, title of the article. I'm going to... I'm making it bold and I'm going to change the size to 28 and the background I kind of want the background to be different because well green is good because it got green on the on the on her shirt so we'll keep the green for that um, but you may want to look at changing that I got to change the color on this one too because I don't I want to be able to see it so I've just changed it to white. And you can see that puts it in the footer. You can change your footer if you want. Like I may put um, my URL. So let me see. I think I will do that. So I'm going to change the footer and put um, not capitalize. We'll change that in a minute. Let me just see here. We want to bolt that. You do have to highlight it to bold it, okay? And then you'll want to go in and again 
change that. So it, it'll, it brings the, it automatically imports the title into every page, which is very cool. It'll give you a footer if you want to have a footer. You can um, put your, um, I'm going to, as I said, I'm going to put the um, URL. And I'm going to put a hyphen and I'm going to put because I want both of them in there, okay? So we've got both of them in there. Then you see how it automatically imports the picture into your article. So it imported that. You can change the, the type style around, like I'd want to make this bold and maybe increase the size of that a little bit just so that it looks like a header. Um, and then you see where it also, um, so each one of these I'm going to change to 18 and I'm going to bold them. Okay, so you'll go through the whole thing and you'll do that and you'll, you will, um, and it does take a little longer than two minutes if you want to play around with it. You can, uh, it was done in two minutes, but I want to, I want to format it a little bit more, so I'm going to do that. And then I'm going to show you how to import more from another URL. Okay, so now we're going to go in and we're going to add another URL to this. And we're going to add the second one. So we're going to go into Elements. We're going to click on New Article. We're going to drag it right here. And it says import from a URL. So I've done the first article. So let me take the next article, which is taking actions, five things that stop us. So that's my second article. I'm going to click on that, put that URL in there, and import. And I put it in right below the other article because I want it to go there. Whether it does or not, we'll, we'll find out <laughs> together. Um, and so let me just see how it did. Okay, it took it down here. So now we have the second article imported into here, which is very cool. I'm going to keep the green again. So now I'm going to go to the bottom of the last article and I'm going to do the exact same thing. And I'm going to drag it right to here, import from a URL, and that would be my last article, which is 10 steps to move forward. So we're going to click on, we're going to put that in here where that one was. And we're going to hit import and I'm, and I'm going to end up with a very nice ebook of probably 12 to 15 pages. So, well, I probably wouldn't call it an ebook. Let me just see how many pages this is. Um, so, it's about it's about 15 pages. Now you can add to the bottom. So here it says article one. This is, I'm going to remove this because this was information that was on the original article that we don't need because it's actually um, not relevant to this because it was an article, but we're changing that. So that's my last page. I can actually add another page and do a call to action, but I'm not going to because for this ex example, I just want to show you what it looks like. Um, so as you can see, um, it changed the title and what I had to do is go into here and copy that and paste it into each of these places because I didn't want the same information in the footer as the header. So I put brought to you by, I bolded it and I changed the color to white. So I'll go in and do all of that and then we will import the, we will publish the article and you'll see uh, the ebook and you'll see what it looks like. One other thing I want to do before I actually publish this is I want to add another image because I I don't like the fact that this is um, empty in that spot. So I'm going to find an image and import it. We don't want the designer image, so we need to remove Media Manager, and we're going to import an image. I'm going to upload my own image. As you can see, you can upload images. 
So I've got a couple that I have, and I'll decide which two, but I think that I want the one that was from the cover of the original one. So that would be um, this one. And I'm going to click on that. I'm going to upload the image <clears throat> and put it right into the, into the document. Great. So normally I would name it what the image is, but for the sake of this, I just took a screenshot. So I clicked on this one, and you can actually change it if you want. You can edit and change the title of it, or change the brightness. We're going to click out of there. We're just going to click Use Image. So I, let me see, okay, here, Use Image, okay. And then you can, as you can see, you can resize the image. And with all that space, I thought it might be a good idea to, so I'm going to bring this down just so that the image is centered. And then I'm going to click on center so it's centered. I want it to be about the same size as the document. And then that's it. So I've got that in there and that way that page is not so small. I'm going to go ahead and change this size to 18 and we're done. So then the last thing we're going to do, we're finished with the document and I'll probably go in and add a last page with a call to action but I want you to see this pretty quickly. So let me see now. So now we're going to hit save and it's saving. So now we're going to click on publish. You can preview the article, the, the book. Let's preview it. So here we go. Very cool. And then we'll just click out of there because I actually don't want to preview the whole thing. I want to just publish it so you can see what it looks like. Um, and I'm going to click on, it's going to be a PDF because to get an EPUB or a Mobi for Kindle, you would have to do the upgrade, which is fine because if you decide you want to do some publishing for for Amazon, then this would be a great tool and the price is very reasonable and easy, 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 easy. So here we're going to generate the PDF and we're finished and you'll be able to see what it looks like. And then I will go ahead and upload it to my Amazon account and you can see really simple. And there it is. We have the entire ebook. You can see how beautifully it was formatted. Now, these these are not in there when you look at it, the, those squares that are in there right now. Um, let me go into Designer and click on my account since I've already published it. So it shows it right here. I can actually go back if I want to edit it. And that's called Designer. Io, and that is um, a really simple tool you can use to create your own ebooks. Remember, this is Heidi Richards Mooney from Her Business Listings and Women in E-Commerce, and with another tutorial for you.